Okay, everyone, today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create uh, three drawings of the five that we've got to do this week. Uh, we're going to do the slotted cam, and I'm going to show you the drawings that we've got to do. Hold on just a second. I'll get to them. Let me find that file for us, okay? So these drawings are actually not real difficult, but there's quite a bit to them. So the drawing file is opening. Here, I'll drag it over now. So we're going to do the slotted cam, the template, and the cover plate. Then I'm going to do another video that covers the quadrant and the elliptical cam. I know they look hard, but I promise you they're not, okay? So I'm going to cut and paste these and drop them in place for us so we can see them. Go ahead and get the first two right here like this. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that, but that's okay. So we'll go back and forth between our views. So we've got a six inch circle, we've got a three and a half inch circle, and then we've got a one and five eighths inch circle. See? So let's create those first. I'm going to create them all on the object layer. I'm going to change this one to a center line. Okay? So let's go into circle. It's under draw, center radius. I'm going to click. Type in. Now look, this is in radius. Remember, this was diameter. So I'm going to change the diameter and say 6. There we go. Now I'm going to go back into circle. I can either click here or I can right click and say repeat last command. I'm going to find the center point. All I did was touch the circle. Hey, there's my center point. All right, so 3.5 for 3.5. Uh-oh, see I use radius. That'll happen. So undo. Do circle again. And don't forget to click on diameter. 3.5. That's better. Now let's go ahead and fix this. We know that this is a, a center line. So I'm going to click, and I've got my properties open here. Yours may be on layers, and that's okay if it is, but if we just click on properties, layer, change object to center. That's all you have to do. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to go back into circle one more time, find my center point, click here, and my size is 1 and 5 eighths. Now I can either do 1 dash 5 slash 8, or I can do 1.625. Either one's fine. Now, am I in radius or diameter? Oh, I caught it. I'm actually in radius, so I escape out of it, come in one more time, click that time I caught it. So I go to diameter. Now, 1.625 or 1 dash 5 slash 8. There we go. There's that line. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my center lines in here and here. Just going to draw a line. Click here. Click here. Okay, there's my center line. I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to click on that line, and I'm going to go ahead and change that into a center line. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and drag this out. Okay. And now, notice, when I do that, it gives me these big, long numbers. Well, so dragging it out is not real easy in this. Uh, an easier way to make those lines longer, if you go to Modify and go to Offset. Now, look, if it says Select Object, remember, we don't want that. We want Distance. So I'm going to hit Exit. Now I'm going to right-click and say Repeat Last Command. And look, Specify Distance. There's what we want in 0.25, a quarter of an inch. Now I can click on the circle and come out and click again. So what I can do now is I can click on the line. Oops, I'm still in offset, so I need to get out of the command. Click on the line, grab that grip and drag it out. Grab this grip and drag it out. That circle gives me a distance to go to. Now all I have to do is delete that outer edge. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and put the vertical one in here. I'm going to use the mirror command, and because our polar, if we click on polar, because it's set to 45 and it's cut on, what I can do is I can click on this line. That's the only one I want to select. Hit enter or confirm selection. Now, where's my mirror point? Dead center. And then drag out at 45 degrees. There it is. See, it locks in place. Click. Do I want to erase the source object? No. There we go. There it is. So, let's go back and look at our picture again. Now we need these slots. See this? This one is right on that center line. Well, how big are the slots? Well, look here. Three-fourths of an inch. 
So, not only is that the width of the slot, that's also the diameter of these curves. And I can put that right on that center point. So let's go back and do that. So I'm going to do circle again. And remember, this is a diameter again. Where's my center point? It's where those two cross right there. See, it's even given me a quadrant because of the circle. Remember quadrant are the four points around the circle? So I'm going to click there, change the diameter, and say 0.75 or 3 slash 4, either one. There we go. Now, how do I get my lines? That's really easy. Go to line, click on the quadrant. Now, look, I'm on the quadrant. I'm not at the intersection. Now, I come out and I get an X. Now, I'm going to hit confirm placement. I'm going to go back into line so I can repeat last command. And again, make sure you get the quadrant, not the X. See it? So get the quadrant, the diamond shape. Drag out, click, and again, confirm placement. There we go. So that's in the right place. Let's clean this up. Let's go to modify and go to trim. And now I'm going to start all the way in the middle. I can pick them one at a time, or I can click and hold my left mouse button down and drag across. Watch this. Drag around, come back around. This is kind of fun. There we go. How about that? I could have clicked them one at a time, but either way works fine. Okay, so there we go. Now, I need six of those. Remember that? Look, six. Well, I'd have to draw six more. I could mirror and do some funny things, but there's an easier way. Watch this command. This command is not on here. It doesn't appear on any of these three tabs. But I can type in, okay, I'm going to hit escape to get out of the command because I got done trimming. Now, notice, type command. A R R and look what pops up array. That's one I want. Click on array. So select objects. Well, how am I going to select? I need that, that, and that arc. I'm going to mash down on my left mouse button and hold it, and I'm going to put a blue box around everything that I want, which is that right there. I'm going to turn it loose. See it highlighted. So confirm selection. That's what I want. Now, what kind of array do I want? A rectangular array makes like rows and columns, kind of like desks in a classroom. A path follows a squiggly line if you want it, but polar does a circular pattern. That's what I want. I'm going to click on polar. Now, where's my center point? It's dead center. Because look, look at the picture. They are around that circle, around the center point. Okay, so let's go back and do that. So let's pick our dead center point and click. And look, it does six. Now, if you wanted more or less, you could change by saying items, and you can change your quantity and type in six. Notice it's already there. Type in six and enter, and you've got it. Now hit enter one more time. It finishes the command. How about that? Okay. Now let's trim up and clean these out, and I'll show you what we've got left. Modify, trim. So again, click, 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 and let's get both of these halves and click one more time. There we go. And say confirm. Now, the only thing I need is these two center lines. Well, I can use this one again because I can do a polar array and get those in the right place. They're 60 degrees apart. So let's go array again, A, R, R, and it'll pop up. Click on it. Select object. Just that line right there. Now hit enter or confirm. Now, type of path. Again, we want polar. Midpoint. Now, it looks right, but it's doubling up. It's actually putting down six. So let's change our item count to three and hit enter and hit enter one more time. There you go. That's it, y'all. That's all there is to that. That one's done, okay? So we're going to take that and we're going to move over. Now, if we're drawing in template inches, don't forget, you need to do a save as and change the name of this drawing. This drawing should be called save as and it should be in the folder that you want it in, okay? Because if you don't have it in the web app, you want it in, you either want it in the web app or you want it in your Google Drive. You really want it in your Google Drive. So I'm going to cancel that. So you should save this in your web app. All right. I'll go ahead and do it where I've got it right here. I can delete it later. So save as. We're going to call it. Now look at this great big long name. It's called slotted. This is on the sheet, by the way, that I've got you. Slotted cam. dash, and the next one is called template. It's just a template to create something by dash cover plate dash, and what's the next one? Quadrant. Q-U-A-D-R-A-N-T dash elliptical cam. 
So we've got two kites of cam and hit save. So now there's the name, okay? There's the name of what we're doing. So the next one we're going to do, let's look at it. Look at this pattern here, okay? So let's think about this for a minute. It's really easier to do this if you'll print this off and work off of it off of a copy if you can. Or take a picture of it on your phone and do that. That way you don't have to go back and forth and back and forth. So it's five and a half wide. How tall is it? Well, believe it or not, it's five and a half tall, but you say, that says four and seven eighths. Yeah, but we have to add this radius from there to there because a radius is the same distance no matter where we go along the curved surface. So four and seven eighths plus five eighths is four and nine eighths. I'm sorry, four and, four and 12 eighths because five plus seven is 12. Well, we know eight eighths is one, so four plus one is five, and that leaves four eighths, right? Eight from 12 is five. Yeah, so four and uh, five and four eighths. That's five and a half if we reduce the four eighths. Okay, so let's make us a box five and a half square. So let's go to line again. Click, drag over, 5.5, .5, enter, drag up, 5.5, .5, enter, back across. We can type it in or we can hover here and drag up and get our green line and then back down and close it. There's our box, hit confirm. Okay, let's draw our center lines in here. We're going to need these. So let's go to line, midpoint to midpoint, confirm, and I can either mirror or I can say repeat last command, midpoint to midpoint again, and confirm again. There we go. Let's draw us a little bit of box around those and let's change the layer. We're in properties. And look, it says objects. There's two of them. Layer, change it to center. There we go. And hit escape to get out of that. So there we go. So the first thing we're going to do, let's put this circle on here, two and a half inch diameter. So we go to circle. Specify center point, click, change to diameter, 2.5, enter. There we go. No problem. Okay? So what else can we do? Let's go back and look again. Let's put this hole in. So how far over is that hole? Well, it's 7 eighths to here and then 1 and a fourth more to here. So if we change this into eighths, look, 1 fourth is 2 eighths. So 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 eighths, that's equal to 1 and an eighth. Don't forget that one right there. One and an eighth plus one is two and an eighth. So we need to be two and an eighth away, okay, for that center point. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go to offset. And I want distance. Uh-oh, same thing, specify object. So hit exit. Right-click and say repeat last command. Now, 2 dash 1 slash 8 or 2.125. Hit enter. Click on this line and go this way. There we go. That's the center point for that circle right there. Okay. So let's put our circle in. Draw. Circle. Click. Now how big? Let's go look and see. Five-eighths drill. Five holes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So five-eighths. We can do that. Go back in. So how big? We said five-eighths. We are doing diameter. Let's make sure. Click. Diameter. Now we know we are. 0. 0.625 or 5 slash 8. There we go. There it is. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. So now what do we want to do? Well, do you see this line right here? This one? It's one inch long. It's a half inch up and a half inch down. Well, we've got a line out here already, a big box. But I've got a way to fix that that makes it easy. Let's click on that line and get the grip, the top one, and let's drag it down to the midpoint, to that box right there. The reason why you're getting the box is because it's the end of that center line. Okay, so click right there. Now. We're going to make it longer. So how much longer? Oh, no, that's that math thing again. So if it gives you that, just hit undo. And we know it's going to. So let's just hit undo. So let's do this another way. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to say line. And I'm going to hover right here. And I'm going to drag up. And how far? I'm going to, now I'm going to type in 0.5. I haven't clicked on anything. I'm going to type in 0.5 and hit enter. There's my first point. Now, how long do I want the line to be? I'm going to drag back down. Now, I'm going to type in 1 and enter. And now, I'm going to hit confirm. Now, it don't look like I did anything, but there's a line right there. Come up here somewhere and click on the long line and hit delete. And look what it leaves. There's the line. Pretty neat, huh? I could have deleted that line to start with and done it, and I could have seen it. And it would have made it a little easier. All right? So, now, I need this angled line. Well, because we've got that 
polar tracking of 45, watch what I can do. Line. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. See that line right there? It starts at that end point, and it's 45 degree angle. If it don't tell you on this side, you can assume it's the same as it is over here. I'm going to click on line. I'm going to click on end point. And look, 45 degrees. Go till you see an X. There's a green X. Click and hit confirm placement. There we go. Now all I have to do is drag this back over to the end point. There we go. I'm going to clean these up too. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to drag it up. Oops. Now again, that offset deal, we may want to do that instead. So what we can do is we can go to modify. Offset, exit, don't forget exit, right click and say repeat last command, distance 0.25. I know that's a lot of work to do, but it's actually easier. And offset that circle out, make the little circle, make a big one around it. Now let's go to trim. Trim, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. There we go. Now I'm going to click here and delete, okay? Now while I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back into offset and look, it remembered my last distance. So I'm going to select this object. Oh no, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. If you do that, it won't move it the distance you want. So right click and say repeat last command. There's my distance again, 0.25 and hit enter. Click here and over and let's go into it on this side. Long line, over. Hey, let's go ahead and do it here. Down and let's do it here. Up. So, and hit confirm. Why all that? Well, it just makes it easier. Now I can grab that grip and drag out. Grab that grip and drag down, straight down. Grab this grip and drag out. And grab this grip and drag out. There we go. Now I can get rid of this. Delete. 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 There we go. Clean that up. Pretty easy, okay? Yeah, I know it took a little bit of work. So let's go back and look now. See this arc? Well, look right here. Do you notice that I got a little bit of circle drawn there? From that point right there all the way up to the middle is one and a quarter inch radius. There's an easy way of doing that. Watch this. Go to circle, and it's in radius. I'm going to hover right here. I didn't click. I said specify center point. Drag up. I still haven't clicked. And I'm going to type in 1.25. Okay. And now, that just gave me my center point. Now watch, come back down and touch the top of that line and click. How about that? So we're going to use that here in a minute, okay? That is that arc. We're going to get rid of the back part. Now how about this right here? Well, again, it's 7 eighths over, okay? And we know it's 5 eighths down because of the radius, okay? So let's do that. So we're going to offset our line again. Go back into offset. We're probably going to have to reset our distance again. I'm just going to go right ahead and hit exit. I'm going to say repeat last command and type in 7 slash 8, 7 eighths, because remember, 7 eighths right there, and hit enter. Now click and come this direction. There we go. So where do I start at? Well, I can do the very same thing I did a minute ago. I'm going to go to draw. I'm going to go to circle. I'm going to hover where that green X is. I ain't clicked. Now I'm going to drag down and I'm going to type in that arc was 5 eighths. You'll see it. 5 eighths radius. So let's go draw it. So I'm going to hover. Oops, get on the X. Drag down 5 slash 8. And now where do I go to? Right back out to where you were at and touch that again. Get the X and click. There's where it goes. So this looks really weird here, but if you notice, look here. There's a little bitty line between that arc and that arc. Okay? So let's fix that. So we're going to zoom in, and I'm going to start on the little circle. So I'm going to go line, and I know it starts at the quadrant. So I'm going to click on the quadrant, and now I'm going to start dragging down. I'm going to zoom in even tighter. Drag down, and look, this line is going to be tangent to the big circle. It's going to touch it in one place, one place only. So now I'm going to type... I'm not going to click yet on my line. I'm going to T-A-N and hit enter. And it says tangent to what? See there, line to what? Tangent to what? And you're going to get this symbol. It looks kind of like green lantern. See it? Part of it. Click, and it'll draw it exactly in the right place. Now hit confirm. See how easy that was? 
and it cleaned that up for us, okay? So let's trim out some stuff. Let's get rid of some things to clean it up. Click. Let's get rid of that. 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 There we go. Hey, we can go ahead and get rid of that and that. We don't need that. Hit enter and say confirm. There we go. There's that S. Now, let's put another hole here. Well, they're the same size, and they share a common center point, so these are concentric. I can fix that real easy by using the copy command. Copy what? That circle. Hit enter and say confirm, or I could pick confirm selection down here. Now, we want our base point to be the center of this circle to the center of this arc. So I'll touch the arc, and it shows me my center point. Now I click on the center point. There we go. I'm going to right-click and say confirm. There it is. Okay. So again, I want this shortened down, and I want it to be a quarter of an inch off that circle. All right, I'm going to show you another way of doing that. Watch this. I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to hover at the quadrant. Notice I'm not clicking. I'm hovering. And I'm going to drag down, and I'm going to type in .25 is my first point, and hit enter. And I'm going to drag to the right. There we go. I'm going to click. I am just make a line. It doesn't matter how long, and hit confirm. Now I can shorten this line to that point right there. And hit escape. Now click on that line, and hit erase or delete, and it's gone. That's in the right place. Now I want one just like it this way. Because this is a quarter of an inch past the arc, which is good. This is a quarter of an inch past the circle. Curve ends here going this way. The last curve is here going this way. We don't stop here. We stop up here. So let's use the mirror command in that 45 degree mirror. So I'm going to click on the line. Click and hit enter. Confirm. Now I want the midpoint of the circle or the center point of the circle. Not the midpoint of the line, but the center point of the circle right there where you see the green circle. Click. And now I want to go the right way. So I want a line past the arc and a line past the circle. See, if I turn it this way, it's not the right direction. But if I turn it this way, it's the right direction. So click going down. And hit no. We don't want to get rid of our source object. There it is. Okay. Again, pretty simple. I need one more circle down here. How far down? Two and one eighth. See it? Okay. So let's go do that. So, where's two and an eighth up and down? Well, I need another center line right here. Oh boy, a bunch more center lines. Well, I'm going to cheat. So, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this whole thing. Okay? So, I'm going to go to copy. But, I need a place to put it. So, maybe that won't work. What do I need to do? Oh boy. I know what I can do. I can go to line. I'm going to create me a little line to work off of. I'm going to hover and I'm going to drag down. I didn't type anything or click anything. I'm just going to drag down. Now I'm going to type 2.125 or 2-1 slash 8. Either one. 2 and an 8. Right there. And now I'm going to draw me a line. It really doesn't matter if it's at an angle. All I want is that endpoint right there where it's at right now. So I can put it here or I can drag it way out here and just click. There's me a line. Now say confirm. Now I can copy this. Okay, this is going to come in handy. You know what I could have done? Watch this. Let's fix this and do it right. Watch. This is neat. Line. Hover at the midpoint or the center point. Drag down. 2-1-8. There's my beginning point. Look what I'm going to do with this line. I'm going to drag it out here. And I'm going to drag it out exactly the distance that I want. So how far do I want to go? Good boy. Now i got to do math. You know what? You can't win. So sometimes you just drag it out. I thought I could be real smart, but you know I really can't. So I'm just going to drag out here, and I'm just going to drop it into place like I did the first time. I just went the other direction. So now I'm going to copy, modify, copy, and I'm going to get, look what I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab every bit of this. So I started with the green box. I'm holding down my left button. Click, get all three of them, and hit confirm. And I'm going to start at the center of the circle. I'm going to put it at the end point of that line right there. Okay. Now, there's some things that I don't need here. Notice when I click right there, I get, a, I get a line. But if I click here, I get another line. Okay. I want the short center line, so I want to click and hope I get it. Hey, I did. I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to delete it, the big long one that I drew. Now the only problem I've got is this line is too long. It's okay here. We know we've got it okay here. I'm going to use that very same technique again. I'm going to go to line. I'm going to hover over the quadrant. I'm going to drag out and type in 0.25 as my beginning point. I'm going to just drag up and I'm going to hit confirm. Now I can shorten this line down to the right length. This is actually easier than offsetting. And then delete this line. There we go. So you think, all right, now I've got to do all that over here. No, this is the fun part. Watch. Modify. Mirror. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to mash my left mouse button down and hold it. Blue box. How far down? Oh, no. I can't get down because of all this mess. If I mash my center roller wheel down, if I roll my roller wheel, I can actually... Now I'm going to roll it back in. I can make it bigger or smaller. How about that? There it is. I've got everything I want inside of it. I'm going to turn it loose. Look, that, 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 the circle in the lines, the circle in the line. It's everything I want. Okay, now I'm going to hit Confirm Selection. Now, where is my first mirror point? Right there. And drag straight down. Look what it did. Click anywhere on this line. I can go all the way to the end point if I want to. Click, Confirm, and say No. There we go. How about that? Now what do we need to do? Well, this line here needs to be shortened up, so click on it, drag it back to here. There we go. This line here, we don't need it all. So I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to click on this one and just delete or erase it. See, we, we mirrored, mirrored that line. Now this line, let's zoom in because what we need to do is we need to click on it, we need to grab the grip, and we need to come all the way back to the Look, the end of that arc or the quadrant, whatever we want to come to. Don't come to that grip. Come to right there where that center line's at. Okay? There's that one done. There's two of them. One more. So, our last one is this one. And it is controlled by these big circles. So, one and seven eighths and one and a half. Let's we'll start with the one and seven eighths. Okay? So I'm going to go to circle, draw here, and was that one and seven eighths a radius or a diameter? It was a radius. Great. Okay. So I'm going to start here, circle, and I'm already in radius, one dash seven slash eight or 1.875. There it is. Now, let's draw some lines. Let's draw us a line from here to here and hit enter and confirm. Let's draw us a line, go back into line, repeat last command. This quadrant to this quadrant. So we drew our quadrants and hit confirm. There we go. Remember quadrants? Now, this, this arc, one and a half inch radius, that center line vertical is two inches away from that vertical one. That center line horizontal is one, two and an eighth from there. So let's go do that. Here to here. Now I will use offset, even though it's tricky to use sometimes. Offset, exit, Repeat last command, two inches. Now remember, the two inch one was the vertical one. So click on it, come this way, there we go. Okay, confirm. Right click, repeat last command. Look what it did, specify distance because I hit repeat last command. Two dash one slash eight. Okay, hit enter. This is the horizontal one. Click and go up, there we go. Okay, so there they are. Confirm. Now I've got them drawn. Now notice what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and on these lines, I'm going to click and mesh. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and click those two. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and see if it'll let me grab these two. If I hold my shift key down, I can select multiple things. There we go. Change these to center. And then hit escape. Now you say, them two don't cross. No, they don't. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to grab this grip, and I'm going to drag it way up here. I'm going to drag this grip, and I'm going to drag it way out here. Okay, so there we go. Now, remember, this was the center point for a 2.5 and a half inch and a 7 eighths inch diameter punch. What's a punch? It's a round hole in a 7 eighths inch diameter. So 1 and a half radius and 7 eighths diameter. So we go back in, go to circle. And let's do the radius first since we're in radius. 1.5, one and a half. There we go. Now let's go back into circle. We can say right click, repeat last command. Same center point, but I want to change to diameter. Remember, that's 7 slash 8's diameter. There it is. Okay? So we've got those. 
Now, let's look down here. See this? 3 eighths radius. And then the lines come out from the quadrants. And again, concentric. They have the same center point. Same thing with this. It was concentric to this. Okay? So let's go back in. Back in the circle, it said 3 eighths radius. So I'm going to click on the center point of that one and say 3 slash 8. There it is. Now, those lines came out this way. Okay? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to drag this way back here. Click. Okay, get that out of the way. I'm going to drag this way down here. No, I'm going to just leave it out there. I'm going to tell you the reason why. You know what? I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to put that line back where it was at. How about that? So why did I do that? The reason why I'm going to use my line command again, okay? Because what I want to do is I want to find quadrants and stuff. So sometimes the line command is really handy. Sometimes the offset is really handy. In this case, your offset may be better. So if I go to offset, exit, and then go repeat last command, distance is 0.25. Because I want to offset this out and this out. Okay? So now I'm going to hit, oh, don't hit confirm yet. How about offset this out? Okay? Now watch what all I offset. Okay, I've got all this done out here, and I'm going to offset this out. Man, it's a mess. Look at all that. I'm going to confirm now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this horizontal line, and I'm going to make it come out and touch that quadrant, and come out and touch that quadrant. I'm going to make this vertical line come up to here, and come down to here. Okay? This one. Now, this one's a little bit different. So, I'm going to zoom in where I can see it. I'm going to click on the line. I'm going to drag it down to the top one. Okay? Now, I realized I'd done something wrong a minute ago. I'm going to drag this one up to the circle there. See what I've got? The outer, the outer. I should have done the exact same thing here. This one should have come down to here. Okay? Right there. All right? Now, this one. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it in to there. And this one I'm going to drag all the way into here. So I'm going to give you a second to look at that so you can see what I've done. Okay. See the placement? Okay. Now let's get rid of these two circles. Click and delete. Click and delete. And then these two circles. Click and delete. I'm getting the outer one each time of the big one and the little one. The outer one each time. There we go. Okay. So let's go back and look again. These lines and that line. Okay, let's go and look and see what we've got already. So, the horizontal lines are just from the quadrant of that small circle at the bottom. So, if I click right there at the quadrant and drag out, okay, where does it go to? It comes way out here. It actually lines up with that quadrant. I can hover and drag straight down. And now, look, I can take that line straight back up and click right there. It's pretty neat, huh? Then the bottom line, and I can just hit Right click and say repeat last command. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to drag out until I touch that arc right there. We're going to fix this in a minute. I'm going to hit confirm. Okay? So there's those two lines. Now, the last line that we need, if we look at our drawing again, is this back line. See it? And then we've got a curve here that's an eighth, I mean, a fourth of an inch radius. So that's the last two things we've got to do. So I'm going to go to line, but notice it says specify first point. I'm not going to click anywhere. I'm going to type in T-A-N for tangent because I want it tangent to this circle. And notice where I'm at. I'm in this quadrant of the circle. Click. And now I'm going to type in T-A-N again and hit enter. And I want the outside quadrant of this circle and click. And now I'm going to hit confirm placement. There's that line. Okay. Let's do some trimming. Let's clean up. Trim, and let's get rid of what we don't want to keep anymore. Start on the outside and work your way in, always when you trim. Click, 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 click. Now zoom down here. Click, click, click. There we go. That's all of those. Now let's click here. Look, that cleaned it up. See it? Pretty neat. Hit confirm. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to put this curve in here. That's called a fillet. Right here it is. It's in the modify. Click on it. Notice it says radius of zero. Well, we had a radius of a quarter of an inch, remember? See? Quarter of an inch. Right there. 
So watch what we do. Click on the radius, type in 0.25 or 1 slash 4. Either one works. Now, click on what you want to put the circle at. There and there. Look, it did it for us. How neat. The only thing I forgot is right there. That's one more little trim. I need to get rid of that part and that part. And look, that's it. Hit confirm, and you're done. So what we'll do is we'll do these three. I'll upload another video on Monday or Tuesday to finish out. And you're going to open this drawing back up and draw the other two right out here beside of it, okay? So you need to hit Save Now. And then later you're going to come back and open this drawing back up and finish the other two. That's it for today, y'all. Have a great day.